In this lesson, we will learn about the editing mode in Moodle. On the home page of your Moodle site, click on the course full name to view weekly outline. Click Turn Editing On in the navigation bar in top right corner. You will notice some icons have appeared inside every block and beside the news forum all over the page. Now we will have a look on the purpose of these icons and the tasks they perform one by one. Notice the hand holding a pencil icon in the topmost section of the weekly outline. It lets you edit or update whatever resource or activity it is next to by taking you to its setup page. In present context, we can edit section summary by clicking on this icon. By using Move icon, we can drag the activity or resource to any other section or week. This is called Move Right icon. It is used to shift course elements to the right. Similarly, Move Left can be used to shift course elements to the left. This is the same hand icon. Clicking this will take you to News Forum Settings page where you can edit settings and update forum. This is called the duplicate icon. It lets you make a copy of the resource or activity. Next icon is called as the delete icon. It will permanently delete something in context from the course after confirming from you by a warning on next page. The open eye icon means an item is visible to students. Clicking it will make the item invisible to students and change the icon to a closed eye. The groups icon allows you to change between no groups, separate or visible groups of participants. The assign roles icon jumps to locally assigned roles menu for the activity or resource in context from where you can assign a local role to any user in the course. For example, a student can be assigned the role of non-editing teacher for a forum activity. Next icon is called as help icon. Clicking on this icon will pop up a relevant help window. This is called as one icon. Clicking this will hide other sections of the course except this one. Add resource drop down menu lets you add resources like file, folder, URL, etc. Click on the drop down menu to see all possible resources that can be added. Add an activity drop down menu lets you add activities for student participation like forums, chat, etc. Click add an activity drop down menu to see all activities available. Now, we have familiarized with Moodle editing mode, its icons and their respective usage. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.